Good evening and good Shabbos. Good Shabbos Aleh. That's uh, Yiddish for for uh, for good Shabbos <laughs> to everyone. So um, I have a lot of material to present to you on behalf of the um, Jewish Socialist Bund Vanguard Circle here. Uh, Andrew Like is uh, in mourning and is not with us this evening, and others are on vacation, I would say. So I want to uh, bring to your attention a very important work that has just come out. Uh, and it is called The No State Solution which is the uh, conclusion made by the Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew Nations, published in 2018 by the Bund, written by myself in Nablus, Palestine. And now the concept has been picked up in a very good way by Daniel Boyarin, and this is published by, you don't believe it, huh? Look at this. Yale University Press. Yale University Press, you hear that? So this is the One State Solution of Jewish Manifesto by Daniel Boyarin. And over here, we have the 1918 Jewish Bund, um, not icon, but, uh, but image, very well-known Jewish Bund image, shouting out, wherever we live, that's our homeland. And uh, this has been reproduced here in this work, which is going to restore the history of the Jewish Bund. And I give this book a very favorable mention. Let me show you what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Now, Daniel Boyarin, Professor Daniel Boyarin, says, I'm going to be offering, explaining, and defending a newish proposition, a third position, that the Jews are a diaspora nation. Newish because it's not new. New because it's been censored. Okay, so it's newish. I hope to show, or at least make plausible, the idea that it is a serious error to argue that the Jews are just a religion in order to avoid affirming the Jewish nation state and that it is possible to imagine nations without states, not as an anomaly or deficiency, but as a significant better way to organize human or Jewish cultural vitality without sacrificing the claims for universal justice. He says, I categorically reject the nation-state solution to the continuity of Jewish existence and culture in favor of a diasporic nationalism. He calls it nationalism, but it's national identity. Uh, he's in favor of a diasporic nationalism that offers not the promise of security, but rather the highly contingent possibility of an ethical collective existence. Indeed, I oppose the mononational state itself for all as a proven dangerous and destructive mode of collective life. Hmm. I do not expect the argument to be welcomed eagerly by all. So be it. Then no state solution, the diaspora nation. Wonderful writing, wonderful. And here he continues on by saying, He says that his work is a product of constant reading, dialoguing in his head, plus getting excited by and learning from or being appalled by and learning from the writings of others. And I hope that included the Jewish Bund on the Jews Who Speak Out list. 
these conversations locate the ideas as authentic in a sense that they have been articulated by folks, mostly Jews, before. Talking about the Jewish Bund. The thoughts and ideas bruited here are products, not of my head, but of my deep and ongoing conversations with interlocutors, living and dead. They are, moreover, deeply rooted in traditional Jewish ways of thinking, from the Talmud to the Yiddish Socialist Bund and beyond. Yiddish, Yiddish Socialist Bund, I think that's us. Oh. Sorry if my audio was a bit low there. My microphone was off to the side. Now, let me get inside here and... and And give you some of the wonderful stuff that Yale University Press has uh -huh, published. The Bund's perspective gives us the model to move beyond it, a prospect for which I will arguing in the ensuing chapters of this manifesto. This is an endorsement, blanket endorsement of the Jewish Bund. I am thinking in terms of diaspora, not exile, and looking for a just political solution, just to all forms of life. I'm not suggesting that these approaches are incompatible with each other. I suggest rather that they add to or supplement each other. We both imagine a binational state in Palestine. He calls it a state instead of a federation. That's an error. Um, the question is how we get there conceptually. I call for a diasporic state of at least two nations in Palestine. The model of diaspora that I uh, adumbrate throughout this manifesto. If it doesn't quite provide solutions, perhaps provide some terms within which to imagine future systems of thought and structures that recall aspects of the past. I have elsewhere imagined and advanced this new usage for the word diaspora. And it is by using these terms that I am applying the old new mode of Jewish existence. The first term, Dorkite, is drawn from the language of the Jewish Bund, a Yiddish socialist mass movement of pre-World War II Jews in Central and Eastern Europe. It translates quite literally as hereness, which I'm adopting as my term for the commitment to the welfare of the people among whom I or we live. It involves primarily class solidarity, but can very easily be extended to the struggle for justice for all oppressed in my city-state county. The second term, Yiddishkeit, or Judaity, signifies as the national ties and commitments to other collectivities that I identify as part of my nation even when living under other political formations or states. The people with whom I share a history and other stories, songs, foods, holidays, modes of speech, and humor, as well as memories of horrific suffering. Wonderful. Here, there's a couple of other references as well. He writes so well. And his definition of uh, national identity, previously in the first uh, introductory piece, is brilliant. The writing is, is so original and precise. And he has a very good conception of what he's thinking, and he can express it. Ah, at the other end of Jewish modernity, oh, Leon Trotsky, Lev Davidovich Bronstein wrote, the Jews of different countries have created their press and developed the Yiddish language as an instrument adapted to modern culture. One must therefore reckon with the fact that the Jewish nation will maintain itself for an entire epoch to come. 
Now, not that Yiddish language is crucial to Jewish national identity, it's just that it's a, a proof that it exists. It continues to exist, but in other forms. It continues to exist in me, in Yiddish, of course, but I don't have anybody I can speak Yiddish with. Incredible. My first language, influent. Okay, then, all over Europe and the United States, too, there are queer and even queer groups devoting themselves to Yiddish culture and the Neo-Bund. calls it the Neo-Bund. Nice. But our Jewish Socialist Bund is a continuation of the original Jewish Bund from the Warsaw Ghetto, where my mother escaped from and her brother, who formed the partisan group in Russia. We continue to exist and we are being heard now. This is a very interesting development. And the no state solution is becoming necessary. First of all, I would emphasize that it's necessary not only for constitutional reasons, as uh, Daniel Boyeran is stating, not only for ethical reasons, but because it is the only way for the Palestinian refugee population to be able to return to their homeland. In the countries in which they are living, they are not welcomed. They are not. They are discriminated against with various uh, laws, as the uh, Jewish people in Tsarist Russia were discriminated against. They weren't allowed to go to university. Same thing with the Palestinians in Lebanon. They're not allowed to go to university. They're not allowed to be professionals. They're not allowed to be, in effect, not allowed to be. And what they are is Palestinians. So they live in refugee camps still, 5.7 registered with UNRWA, United Nations Refugee Works Asso Association, the one that the United States tried to get defunded. Canada has refunded its uh, contribution to UNRWA, but the Zionist who's representing Notre Dame de Grasse in Montreal here, he actually opposed the renewal of funding to UNRWA and wanted the refugees to disappear and maybe starve. So I was thinking that perhaps there should be a Jewish Bunda candidate against this health father of the Liberal Party who is a right-wing Zionist supporting genocide. The next election for Canada, House Father is going to be contested. And after the vigil, everybody knows that the Jewish Bund is there and can contest House Father. Now they're going to have a chance to support the Jewish Bund against that genocide there. Okay, so that's the um, important stuff that I wanted to present to you. You know, the Jewish Bund is here. The Jewish Bund is accepted in academia. The Jewish Bund is accepted as a credible logical concept by the younger generations of Jewish Americans who, in the majority, oppose the genocide in Gaza and are active in opposing it. And they should be recognized as such. There is not enough recognition for the Jewish opposition movement because this is the movement that is going to overturn the Zionist dictatorship, not only in Palestine, but here as well. We need your support because we are doing the work that is necessary, the necessary work of overthrowing Zionism and all of their various political parties. They're all the same. It doesn't matter if they call themselves socialists. So did the Nazis. So the... So that's what it all amounts to. The wonderful socialistic kibbutzim, which are built on stolen land in the most fertile areas of the country of Palestine. Now, the most latest developments. Uh, mainstream media, corporate media, has been spouting forth about the ceasefire proposal enunciated by the United States in the name of the uh, Israel government in the name of Netanyahu, supposedly, and what the ceasefire proposal is not an end to the war. It's not even a permanent ceasefire because it's calling for the permanent occupation of Gaza by the Zionist military. It doesn't call for the withdrawal of the Zionist military from Gaza. And yet, 
Palestinians and Hamas are expected to accept this as a ceasefire proposal? Okay, they don't like reject it entirely. And they're negotiating and pointing out, you know, that it does have to come to a conclusion, which means that the Zionist military has to withdraw from Gaza. And then Hamas, you know, will have a ceasefire, a permanent ceasefire proposal, which ensures peace with Israel. And so that October the 7th doesn't happen again. And so what more can uh, that, uh, that population require? If they want peace, they can have it. They just have to make peace with Hamas. They don't want to, then they don't have peace. It's very simple. Now, this T-shirt and the occupation T-shirt is uh, Jewish Unity for Just Peace. This was a conference in uh, Chicago in 2001, which launched the uh, Jewish opposition movement, both in North and South America. And uh, eventually, well, soon thereafter, actually created the uh, Jewish Voice for Peace and this is where it came from. And uh, we had a conference in which we discussed the uh, the proposals of uh, two states, one state. And we didn't have a no-state proposal at the time. But um, what we did agree to was that um, we can uh, agree to disagree and that um, we all agree that the occupation should come to an end. And that's what we need to say. And that's what we say, you know, Jewish voice for peace. The lives of concerned Jewish Canadians. Even the independent Jewish forces in England and their copy here in Canada, which took off from the uh, ACJC. You know, it's very simple. You know, that's the first thing that we have to do is to stop the occupation. The right of return for the Palestinians comes about by defeating the Zionist leadership, which is insisting upon an occupation, insisting upon another 5,500 housing units to be built in the West Bank, insisting upon legal... Sorry. They're legal, Ill legalizing illegal settlements that were declared so by the higher court of, of uh, the Zionist state. Just a moment. I have something to show you. Oh. Sorry, it, it got broken. I can't show it to you this week. I'll, uh, I'll repair the, the candelabra and light the uh, Shabbos candles for you next Friday. Okay, but uh, I'll give you the prayer. There. Now, I think that's uh, a load of good news that we can present to you here today. See you next week. Good Shabbos.